Welcome to the southernmost tip of the Caribbean island chain. So we're pretty close to Venezuela right now. And behind me, you can see the world famous Grand Anse Beach, which means we are in none other than the beautiful island nation of Grenada. This place only has 125,000 residents. And we're about to meet a very special one of them who has a degree in IT, but had to work on his parents' heavy machinery business for the first few years after he graduated because, well, there's just not that many coding jobs on this island. Thankfully, remote work had an answer. Let's go meet him, shall we? Hey, Mark, how's hey, going? How are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, Finally. you too. Yep, so I was thinking we could take a ride around the island in a Jeep. What do you think? Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Sounds good. Thanks. Go see some of Grenada. It's actually my first time doing the Jeep tour. It's something I've been wanting to do for quite a while. So um, thank you, Andrew. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> You're I'm, I'm welcome. happy that we get to experience this together. Have you lived in Grenada all your life? Yep. I have done some regional and international travel. However, Grenada has always been my home. Up ahead on the right is where I went to secondary school. So there were 16 of us in the class. So it was a very intimate experience going to school in Grenada. After Westmoreland School, I moved on to St. George's University where I attained my bachelor's degree in information technology. Do you think people from the U.S. would be surprised at the quality of the education that you've got here? Definitely. Definitely. Because we're a developing island, I think there is the misconception that we're still very underdeveloped. Um, but that is not the case. Many people come from the U.S. and the wider world to study here on this campus. And great talent comes out of Grenada and this region. Can you tell me where we're going now? Uh, so we're heading over to the fort. We're taking the long route, off-road, very scenic. Uh, what a view. Must be a beautiful place to grow up. So this is a map of Grenada. Right now we're towards the south of the island. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot of sites down on the side. I'm definitely partial to this one, St. Andrew. Yeah. Why is that? That's a, just a really good name, you know? Yeah, it is. Uh, oh, <laughs> your name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They can make me a saint if they want. Yeah, if they want to. <laughs> I'm, I'm honored to accept. <laughs> of course. What kind of work was available to you graduating with that bachelor's in IT here? A lot of the opportunities that we see as locals coming out of university are entry-level jobs. Not very well paying, mm -hmm. spending four years of my life in university and then being faced with the fact that I can't find a job, in my opinion, that pays me as well as, as I should yeah. be paid or has perks that benefit me really, it's definitely frustrating. Mm. I've yeah. seen a lot of like multinational company headquarters located mm. here yep. in Grenada. Are they not hiring Grenadians? A lot of them come in with the, the talent that they need and offer the entry level jobs to locals. That is something we've been faced with. So the best so, talent gets exported that is out of Grenada, that is correct. and the best jobs get imported, imported. into Grenada. That is correct. It and has I to think be it's not just, It is. I think it's not just a local problem. From conversation with colleagues in the other islands, it seems to be a regional problem. This, this is just one of the realities of mm -hmm. living in the Caribbean, and access to jobs and job security and so on is a real challenge. Did Out you of ever university. consider leaving Grenada? I did. I did. I did. However, I decided to stay. Mm -hmm. I went off to work in the family business. My parents, they were involved in a heavy equipment and trucking business. I went off to do that, I would say, for about six, seven years. Mm -hmm. It's a long way from IT. It, it, it is, it is. And then eventually I found my way back in the IT field through GT School and Learn with AI. Uh, yep. It was refreshing to be able to find remote work through Crossover, um, to be able to really thrive in the industry that I was passionate about. Uh, what has it meant for you to have access to that kind of opportunity? Um, it's, it's really life-changing, I would mm -hmm. say. That's the best word I can use to describe the oppor opportunity that was granted to me. Though I enjoyed working in the family business, I, I pursued IT for a reason at school. Mm -hmm. That's what I was passionate about. Yeah. And now, every day, I am allowed to do what I am passionate about. 
sure. You can't put a price tag on that. Definitely not. Definitely not. It's priceless. Yeah. <laughs> have you been happier as a result? I have. I have. Definitely. Definitely. Without a doubt. We're sitting on Grand Nan's Beach. Um, yeah. And this is a reality for me. This is something I can do every single day now if I want to. How do you think your life would be different now if remote job opportunities didn't exist? Um, I think I may have migrated. I myself may really? have migrated from Grenada, yep. Um, Grenada is lovely, but it has its challenges. Mm -hmm. It is not the easiest place to survive in. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how did you feel when you found out that there were remote jobs that you could work for uh, from right here in Grenada? I was relieved, um, but I will admit I was reluctant at first. Reluctant? Reluctant because all I had known up until that point was eight to four locally. Yeah. Right? Every single job I've worked. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m.? That's right. Those yeah. are interesting hours. Yeah, interesting, we say 9 to 5, I think, in right. most countries. <laughs> but in, in Grenada, we mostly do 8 to 4. Because by 5, you're drinking rum on the beach. Because that is correct. It's 4.07, so in one hour, hopefully, you yeah. and I are partying. 53 minutes, rum, beach. <laughs> this is on. <laughs> yeah. My reluctance stemmed solely from the fact that this was a first time thing for me. I knew nothing about remote work. I've, I had never worked remotely. Um, but the hiring process, it was fair, it was comprehensive, it was straightforward. Mm -hmm. And that helped me to have faith that mm -hmm. it was a genuine opportunity. Mm -hmm. And everything went smoothly. This was two years ago. Mm -hmm. I actually just celebrated my two-year anniversary last week. Thank you. I think it's one of the best things that has happened to me career-wise. So tell me, what, what do you do? What is your remote job? Right. So. Currently, I am an AI first support analyst. Mm -hmm. I work for Learn with AI now. It's been great working in the edtech field. What does Learn with AI do? Learn with AI, the best way I can describe it, is the next best thing in education. Wow. In a nutshell, we are creating AI based education solutions that will hopefully transcend time. Two of our most popular applications right now that can be found both on the Apple and Google platforms are Magic Academy mm -hmm. and TeachLab. Really just focus on good quality educational content mm -hmm. and very focused on improving students' grades through learning with AI. Mm -hmm. What does your day-to-day -day look like? Um, so. Typically, we work seven to eight hours per day. I am primarily now focused on customer satisfaction, I would say. So, a lot of checks and balances that relate to the customer, the end user, the student, right? You, you just said you, you've celebrated your two-year anniversary. Yeah. You work in a company called Learn With AI. Yes. Uh, when you know, two years ago AI barely existed. Yep. That's right. Uh, what do you think has been the secret to your success here? In this line of job, I think number the number one thing I would say is understanding and appreciating what is required for success. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because anyone could claim that they are great at doing something, but it's really when you're put to the test to deliver over mm -hmm. and over. It shows what you're made of. Uh, to me, that means understanding each task independently, understanding the management style of my managers, understanding the demeanor of my teammates. Yeah. All these things really lead to success. Do you think this will look good on your CV and make you more employable now? Definitely. Based on the interactions I've had uh, across the region, across continents, with managers, with colleagues, the vast amount of knowledge that I've gained, the product expertise I now have, I think I'm definitely a more employable person, definitely more of an asset to any team I will join in the future. What would you say to a young Grenadian now who is trying to figure out whether they might have a future working in a, in a remote job in the IT field like yours? I would say that the opportunity is genuine mm -hmm. and give it your best shot. Um, because the same knowledge that we're attaining in Grenada is the same knowledge that is necessary to succeed in the wider world. So what's next for you? Where to from here? Um, well, I think we should go for a swim. A swim? So, yeah. <laughs> That's a good but plan. But specific to uh, work, 
Um, there are just so many opportunities. There are opportunities to move higher up within Learn With AI. Mm -hmm. So I'm always looking forward to those when they present themselves. So the opportunities are endless, really. With the quality of work we put out, the type of work we do, the knowledge I've gained, I would say the possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. I haven't put my finger on the exact next move for me yet, yeah. but based on the type of person I am, I enjoy changes. Mm. I, I don't like being stuck in doing mundane tasks. And that is why I think I have enjoyed working at GT School and Learn With AI mm -hmm. so much. Because what I did one year ago is definitely not what I am doing now. Yeah. yeah. And I really appreciate that in my day-to-day -day work. Mm. You seem like an enterprising guy. I wouldn't be surprised if you started the next Grenadian billion dollar startup. Oh, well, I hope so. Maybe someone at Learn With AI yeah, would like to partner with me. Yeah. And we can make something happen in this region. Yeah. That sounds like a good plan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but first, I think perhaps we should have that swim. What do you say? Definitely. Let's get it. Yeah. Thanks so much, Mark. It's been a pleasure talking <laughs> to you Thank you, today. Andrew. Likewise. Take care. Yeah.